Hi VC, Dave back with you. I uh, wasn't really planning on shooting a video today but um, it's a really wet, uh, wet, cold bank holiday Monday and um, I decided I'd just take the time to shoot a quick update. Um, I currently, my, my um, turntable currently needs a, a, a needle uh, so um, I'm just waiting to get one so um been playing a lot of CDs lately um, rediscovering my CD collection some of which have been a little neglected but um, I'm gonna specifically um, focus on a on a haul of records which I made a couple of days ago uh, a haul of records which unfortunately because of the needle situation I haven't actually been able to play any of these so um, I'll be going through them fairly quickly uh, these are all um, uh, part of a big haul of records which I found in a, I suppose specifically, technically a kind of a antique shop stroke junk shop kind of a place. Um, it's a place I've, it's a place that often has a lot of records, usually rubbish. Um, I, I go in there a lot to see if they have anything. A lot of the time it's just kind of easy listening, um, uh, you know, not very interesting stuff, but um, the stuff which uh, they got in a big um, bunch of new stuff uh, the other day, just as I'd walked in, that actually just put it out um, um, just very shortly beforehand. Now, it's all modern classical, or uh, I suppose what mostly kind of 20th century classical, most of it post war, and I suppose a lot of it would be termed as avant garde. Uh, I suppose it's not something that probably wouldn't be to everybody's taste, but um, something I, I have an interest in myself. Um, um, I'll, as I said, I, I haven't actually had the chance to play any of this stuff yet. Well, apart from there's a couple of CDs included, so, um, but um, yeah. Um, so, uh, I'll start off with. Um, a composer by the name of Me Olivier Messiaen. Uh, turned out there's three records by him. Now a lot of these weren't on Discog, so I've been adding some of these. Um, anyway, starting off with this box set. Uh, this is a double disc box set. Uh, Olivier Messiaen, uh, Turan Gallia Symphony. Uh, Messiaen, a French composer, um, I think he died in the early 90s. Um, yeah, very influential um, composer on the, you know, kind of post-war uh, scene. But uh, this is a double disc box set um, featuring uh, his this symphony um, conducted by Andre Previn. Uh, very nice condition. Everything here, uh, all of this stuff that I picked up, it seems to have been really well looked after. Um, um, yeah, very pleased to. Um, uh, don't often come across Messiaen in the wild, so uh, I was very pleased to uh, to find this. Um, uh, this box set, which I believe came out in the mid to late 70s, I think. A very, very nice cover as well by Marc Chagall. Um, but, uh, uh, staying with uh, Messiaen. Now, Messiaen primarily composed a lot of work for keyboard uh, and piano. Uh, this consists of some piano works. Um, all of these pieces were composed in the 50s. Um, uh, this lady on piano, um, Lorraine, uh, y y y Yvonne L L L L Lauriod, Yvonne Lauriod. Uh, this is on the Superfond label, uh, who always do, uh, you know, Czech label, always do really, really nice um, cover art. Uh, this pressing is from the 60s, I think. Uh, it's got this, um, oh yeah, I think that actually... 
slips in there and at the side the disc uh, like so so as I said I haven't had a chance to listen to any of these so um, while I'm waiting on a needle so uh, just run through them and thought they might be of, of interest to some people um, and one more by Messian um, this is um, this is actually uh, an organist called um, uh, Jean Gouliou. Uh, I'm not sure I pronounce his name. Jean Gouliou, Gouliou, uh, who plays both his own compositions and compositions by Messiaen on this. Uh, this is on Phillips, by the way. Uh, white white label, which is unusual enough for. Um, Phillips. Uh, I do like the Phillips label. Um, maybe a slightly overlooked label. Um, a lot of Scott Walker and um, early Kraftwerk uh, came out on, on um, you know, Kraftwerk's early albums came out on that label. Uh, okay, so that's Messian. Um, now this is one that I actually had on my want list for quite a while. Um, eight songs for a Mad King, P Peter Maxwell Davies. Uh, Peter Maxwell Davies, um, English composer, um, who actually just died last year. Um, this is a work that was produced in the late 60s. Uh, this is a 1971 recording. and. Um, Quite interesting variety of um, musicians there. Um, yeah, so this is uh, basically a kind of a very, very avant. I've I've heard bits of it on YouTube. This is extremely kind of um, out there. So I suppose it's best regarded as a kind of a modern opera. Uh, it's on the theme of um, uh, George the Third of England, who basically win. Mad, well, well, I got mental issues, and that, that's basically what the title is and is referring to. It's kind of telling his story. I think it's using his own actual, maybe, writings by George the Third. Um, this production, I believe, um, oh, that film director, what was his name again? Um, Ken Russell was was involved in this as well, and this. In the production that this um, recording is taken from, um, so yeah, um, quite an interesting find. Uh, very pleased to find that, and it's on the um, Unicorn label, which um, uh, interesting label, which often put out a lot of um, contemporary and modern classical in the seventies and eighties. Uh, moving on to um, some Polish, modern Polish composers, um, uh, Pen Penderiki, uh, Lutos Lowski, and um, a composer I'd never heard of, Baird, who, uh, despite his name, which sounds English or Scottish, uh, who actually, well, as it turns out, was Polish. Um, so this um, works by those three composers, and uh, this this is on Superfon again, and uh, I always love the Superfon's artwork. They always do did um, really fantastic covers. Uh, again, Luther's staying with Luther's Lowski again. Uh, this um, features work by him. Um, a lot of um, work featuring flute, um, clarinet. Soprano voices, um, piano and percussion. Um, yeah, uh, yeah, it's quite, uh, quite frustrating that I can't listen to these. Um, I'm really looking forward to getting the um, needle situated sorted so I can have a good proper listen to these. Uh, it's on the Candide uh, label. Uh, this, I think this came out in the 60s as well. Maybe 1967 or thereabouts. Um, 
There's a program uh, there as well. Um, yeah, there's a couple of CDs as well, um, which I think were part of the same donation. Um, Uh, this um, this features um, an ensemble called the um, the Vienna Saxophone Quartet. Uh, as the title indicates, there's um, works here by John Cage and um, Yanis Zanakis, the Greek composer. Uh, also, a couple of lesser-known composers: um, Wolfram Wagner. Um, I don't think it's anything to do with um, you know the famous Wagner. Um, uh, all fairly f fairly contemporary pieces, most all from the 80s or 90s. Uh, this came out in the 90s, and as far as I can tell, it's a self self release by the um, Vienna Saxophone Quartet. So uh, yeah, very interesting piece. Uh, all saxophone, um, entirely saxophone, four saxophone players. Um, uh, so really, really interesting. Um, pieces and uh, this is another CD I picked up um, contemporary Irish string quartets uh, by four 20th century Irish composers um, this is okay it's nothing very groundbreaking um, it's an interesting find but um, none of the pieces on this are really kind of um, Particularly, you know, that's it's interesting, but not nothing particularly groundbreaking uh, on here. Um, okay, three more pieces of vinyl. Um, uh, Schoenberg, Weiburn, and Hindemith, um, two Austrian and one German composer, uh, all pre-war, really specifically, or pre-war, or kind of. Uh, I think, um, yeah, Sean, or no, well, I think maybe, yeah, kind of mid, early to mid uh, 20th century, I think. Um, uh, pieces uh, performed by um, the Academy of St. Martin in the Fields, directed by Neville Mariner. And this is on the Argo label. Uh, very good label, that for classical. And it's one I usually grab when I see it. Um, oh, and. Um, Two featuring um, Pierre Boulet conducting. Uh, Pierre Boulet, uh, 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 established composer in his own right, but also quite established as a, as a um, conductor of other of other people's works. So this is Boulet conducting uh, Ravel, and I love that cover. Uh, this again, most of these I think are from the sixties. This is from. I don't know, 66, 67, it was on CBS. And another one on CBS, uh, Boulet conducts, well, Boulet conducts Berg, and uh, that is um, uh, Berg, the um, Austrian composer of um, active in the early 20th century again. Um, yeah, featuring the BBC Symphony Orchestra. Okay, so that's all. That's everything that I picked up at that particular haul. And apart from the two CDs, uh, I haven't been able to listen to any of them. Uh, I'll just quickly go through some other stuff, some other CDs which I found in various other locations. Uh, I found this in a charity shop a few days ago. Uh, this is on ECM, uh, the John Abercrombie Quartet. Uh, this also features Mark Copeland on piano, uh, Drew Gress on double bass, and Joy Barron on drums. Uh, uh, this is yeah. This is fairly recent, actually. This is only from 2013, so I um, don't know why any, somebody wanted to give it away to a charity shop, but they did. And um, uh, as I've said before, a lot of great, um, a lot of great stuff, CD-wise, can be found in charity shops these days. And uh, yeah, so John Abercrombie, guitarist, and um, so. Um, an ECM, always grab ECM whenever I see it going cheap. 
Um, following two CDs, I picked them up in a secondhand bookshop stroke record shop. I, I've mentioned this place before uh, quite a few times. It's a place where I found all those um, 1990s um, vinyl pressings about a month ago, which I did a video on. These are a couple of CD finds which I've made there at, at different points in the last month, uh, both by Arvo Part. Um, Arvo Part, the um, uh, Estonian composer. Uh, Passio, uh, this is a, a choral piece by him. Um, entirely choral, well, mostly, almost entirely choral. Um, this is on the um, Naxos label. Uh, there's also an, another different recording of this on, on ECM. And um, speaking of ECM, here's Arvo Part again on the ECM label. And this is, um, this is, you know, this is part of, um, yeah, ECM new series. Uh, Arvo Part, very much a composer of the CD age. Um, I don't think I've ever come across anything by him on vinyl. I almost, virtually always will find his stuff on CD. Um, yeah, quite, ECM re released quite a lot of his stuff. And um, this came out in 1993. Uh, nice booklet there. Uh, yeah, I think this was recorded in Finland actually, in a um, in a church there. Um, in, yeah, um, Arvo Parts work very much is is rooted in that um, kind of Baltic um, Baltic uh, religious music kind of tradition. But um, yeah, very pleased with that uh, pickup. Uh, just one last find, again from a charity shop. Um, this is actually a book. Well, this is sort of a box set, book stroke CD. Uh, Peter and the Wolf, uh, Gavin Friday and the Friday Caesar Ensemble. Gavin Friday, Irish musician. He used to be the um, Frontman with the Virgin Prunes. Um, this is a sort of a musical stroke spoken word version of um, Peter and the Wolf. And it features a book with illustrations by um, by Bono, uh, Bono from U2. So um, this is actually the second time I found this in the wild. I found a copy of this a few years ago as well and I gave it to um, Jimmy. Uh, Jimmy Earl of Suave, um, it's part of VCLT, but i um, very lucky to find another uh, copy of this. Okay, that's it. Um, uh, I do have a lot of other stuff to show, but uh, I'll leave that for another video. So, um, uh, so thanks everybody for watching, and um, uh, see you all next time.